Hoy en Estilla Zinia High School, happy Cinco de Mayo. Today is May 5th, and I, 2023, and I'm your host, Colleen. And I'm your host, Ivy. And you're watching Bucks TV Weekly, Cinco de Mayo edition. edition. Today, as we have stated, is Cinco de Mayo. To get the fiesta started is Neve with the history of today's holiday. Cinco de Mayo, or 5th of May, is a holiday celebrated in Mexico and in the U.S. Many often mistake it for Mexico's Independence Day, but Cinco de Mayo actually represents a major Mexican victory against the French. Between 1858 and 1861, there was a civil war between the more liberal and conservative sides of Mexico. After three years of war, the liberal side won under Benito Juarez. The civil war comes into play later. An agreement between the Triple Alliance said that the alliance would withdraw from Mexico, but France did not follow this and was planning to overthrow the liberal army with the support of the former Reform War conservatives. The chance of Mexico winning any battle was low. On May 5, 1862, the Battle of Puebla began with about 6,000 troops being led by France's general Charles Latrille de Lawrence and 2,000 men led by General Ignacio Zaragoza. The French retreated with a loss of 500 soldiers resulting in a win for Mexico. Cinco de Mayo celebrates one of the few major Mexican victories from foreign powers, and today is celebrated in the U.S. as a way to celebrate the victory as well as to commemorate Mexican culture. What a cool holiday we get to celebrate. Yeah, Cinco de Mayo is definitely not Joe average holiday. Not funny, dude. Up next, we have Adam and the softball team playing a classic Hispanic game of Taco Battle. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. Uh, today we're here with Kendall Boyer, Kylie Hart. And probably, I've never been on live yeah. television before. And Taylor Walker of the girls softball team here at Xenia. Uh, today we're going to be playing a Hispanic game called Taco Battle. So, you guys ready? Yeah. Alright, let's go. <laughs> the rules for this game are simple. Take a wooden spoon, take a taco shell, grab a friend, and get to battle. The object of the game is to knock the other person's taco shell off their spoon before yours falls and hits the ground. Whoever's breaks first, loses. You guys ready? Yes. All right, three, two, one, fight. First fell off first, so I think. Three, two, one, fight. I did it, I think. Three, two, one, fight. <laughs> you can tell they had a lot of fun with that segment. Yeah, talk about hilarious. We quit with the stupid puns. Anyways, that was really fun to watch. And there's still more to, and there is still more divertia to go around. Here's Colleen and Ivy with Cinco de Mayo trivia. Please introduce yourself in Spanish. Hola, me llamo Juan Pablo. <laughs> what does the phrase "no habla español" mean in Spanish? I don't speak Spanish. As <laughs> Again. How do you say cat in Spanish? Un gato. <laughs> From five, backwards in Spanish. Cuatro, tres, dos, uno. No, 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 no. <laughs> Woo! Did I hit it? Yeah. <laughs> when is Cinco de Mayo? May 5th. Tengo diez, siete años. And that is? Seventeen. And great. Great Bob. <laughs> you almost broke it. We got some really funny shots from that. Poor Pinata, or as we call him, Bob. Now it's time for two truths and lie with Kyler. I'm Mrs. Allen. I teach 11th grade English, mostly all the juniors, and then I also teach dystopian literature. So let's see. Um, I've seen Stevie Nicks live in concert. I have 11 tattoos and I've been to Germany five times. So um, 
Stevie Nicks was real. I actually got to see her this last summer at Bonnaroo in Tennessee, a little music festival. As far as traveling, um, I've been blessed to travel around the world just because I have family who lives around the world and can put us up, so it makes it a little cheaper and easier. Um, I'm actually only a second generation citizen, so half of my family resides in Germany, hence why I've been there so many times. And um, I do not have 11 tattoos. Well, I wanted to say that I'm gonna miss all of my students the rest of this year because I'm gonna be out for maternity leave. So little Calliope Allen will be here in a couple weeks and um, I'll miss you guys and have a great year, great summer. That was pretty funny. Yeah, it was. Some of them definitely had me stumped. Speaking of being stumped, here is Wyatt and our three awesome Spanish teachers getting quizzed on unique Spanish words. Hello, America. This is Spanish Words Showdown. I'm your host, Wyatt Cowdery, and today we have our three lovely Spanish teachers as our contestants. <laughs> Senor, Senora, and Senorita. The rules are simple. I'm going to give them a word that doesn't have a direct English translation, and they're going to try their best competition style to see who can get it first. Hey, quiero. I love you. Estreñar. Oh, 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 to like, to like strain yourself, tire yourself out. Tutear. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, to use the two form. Yeah. Lampino. Lam All right. <laughs> well, thank you, senor, senora, and senorita. This has been Spanish Word Showdown. Thank you. Wow, Wyatt found muchos problemas difíciles, or a lot of difficult words. Yes, and our Spanish teachers did an excellent job of figuring out their meanings. And the fiesta continues. Here is another senior autofill, this time featuring Renee Jones. Hi, I'm Renee Jones. I'm a senior at Xenia High School, and this is my Google autofill. What does Renee plan to do after she graduates? I'm going to commute uh, to Wright State and I'm taking business and finance. So stay at home. What's up with Renee's spelling eye peoples? It's a birthmark. Um, my dad had it, his mom had it, her mom had it. Um, it doesn't affect my eyesight. I'm not blind, but I tell people that sometimes. So if I tell you that, I'm lying. What is Renee's favorite heavy metal song? Mm, blind by Corn. Right now is my favorite. What are Renee's dog's names? My first dog I got when I was eight. She's Dakota. She's getting old. And then my new puppy, well, he's a little over a year old. His name is Koozie. What advice would Renee give to younger classes? Don't have missing assignments. It is the worst and I am so stressed right now. Um, good luck. Definitely one of the coolest segments we produce. Yes, they are a blast to watch. Good luck to Renee after graduation and thanks for doing that for us. Before we wrap up, we have an announcement about a podcast project that you might be interested in checking out. Senior Vincent Baker has been working on a video podcast series called Black Heroes. It was released Wednesday on, Z on the Xenia High School channel on YouTube. He interviewed an academic advisor at Central State, two best-selling authors, and a student activist. Head over there and give them a look. Sadly, our fiesta is over now. I hope you all enjoyed this as much as we have. I'm your host, Ivy. And I'm your host, Colleen. Tortilla later. And you're watching Bucks, Bucks TV, TV Weekly, Weekly. Cinco de Mayo edition. edition.